a cube and dice here there are four dice this is first here this is the first dice the second the third and the fourth now here as we know on a standard dice the numbers on opposite faces add to seven and here there is one more rule whenever two dice touch the numbers on the touching faces are the same so here if there are two dice and here they the first dice has four and it touched with another another dice so that dice would also have four okay so here in this question how will you do it so first here two then we will subtract two from seven we will get five then three so here we will get four three plus four is seven and then six plus one is again seven now if here we have four then what number should we have here three and what number if we have one here yes it would be six then here the same what here we have one okay now what number would we need here yes it would be three three plus four is seven then five then two okay so now uh, if we want to find this question mark then how would we find it the possible what are the possible values of the question mark is one two three four five or six it must be any of them but we can see six and three here on this small dice so that are not the pieces therefore six and three here six and three will cancel okay so six cancel and again three also cancel now here the opposite of three which is four four also cancel then opposite of six what is it it is one so one also cancel we are here we are subtracting number from seven okay now the possible value of question mark would be either two or either five now if we have the cube so here we have a cube like this so here in this cube you can see the faces here are six then like this if we keep the cube then we will get three here here it is six here it is three and then in the back side it is two okay six three and two now we will here we are doing something with the orientation so here in this cube this one here there are four and six and six and three so six and three we will keep it like this here it is six and three okay here it is six and here it is three so six and three then what would be the top face they are asking then where is the two two is at the bottom face okay then where would be where would be five as two is in the bottom face then five would be on the upper face on the upper face it would be five and here as you can see it is this is the upper face therefore this has the value five here so wasn't it an interesting question so on this cube let's again understand it simply let's revise this revise it again three we are opposite four six sorry first it is three which has opposite three opposite four two opposite five six opposite six it is one then four opposite is three then five here opposite would be two now you can try finding out the value here okay you can try finding 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 it out 
so again four five one here two here three then here six one and six here three now here you can find these again and here we have to find so three and four six and one so the left values are two and five now two goes in the bottom face yes how it is so again six is on the back face here you can see six six is on the back face and here we have on the side face it is three okay six on the back face three on the side face and two which was which would come on the back face why because six three and two in this arrangement okay so now you can find out that here it will be five and here obviously six has opposite of one you can try it again with some cubical shape if you can can't understand here thank you bye have a nice day and enjoy solving many more puzzles like this we would be taking many interesting classes